Doesn't matter. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Shabbat Shalom. We're here, and uh, we're excited to bring the good news. Um, in this parsha, we come to a super exciting moment that uh, the people of Israel, after wonder so long, they are ready to take the promised land. So um, let's go, let's take the land, let's take the land that Adonai swore to your fathers, Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. Ben Israel grew at this time, and he was, they were uh, a large numbers of people. So Moshe blessed them, and uh, as they would increase a thousand times. And see now, Adonai has the land before you. Take, go, take, take possession of the land. That would so simple, right? They, after a wonder, went through so much. Let's take the land. So um, they took 12 men before that to spy the land, as we read in the, in the Parsha. And they came back with the proof that the land was beautiful. They brought fruits. I remember Rabbi Ben say that, uh, I remember when he gave the sermon, he said the fruits were giant, big, nothing compared to what you see in the stores. They are really beautiful fruits and taste amazing. So they, they had a proof that the land was good. So easy, right? So um, where are we going? The brothers said, where are we going? They came with the proof, but they still wonder. Our brother had to discourage our heart saying, the people there is greater and taller than we are. Oh no. So they got scared from all the bad reports that they heard. And actually this phrase saying the Torah, I didn't make that up. Our brother, my brothers had discouraged us, our heart saying the people is there is great and taller than we are. So the 12 men that they came back, uh, only two was has a good attitude about the land. The 10 of them say, oh no, it's, we're going to be crushing there. When we get in there, we're not going to survive. And actually, literally saying the people were taller and bigger. And the walls and everything was bigger than they saw. Because remember, Ben Israel was wandering the desert for 40 years. They didn't see so much. They didn't know so much. But when the, then when the this spy came back, that's the, the reports they, they brought for them. So uh, they got scared from the reports and they forgot all the guidance, blessings, provision that Hashem gave to them. This can show us what a bad report can influence in our lives. People instead have faith and continue moving forward for the blessing they get discouraged. They get discouraged from bad reports. No matter what giants you see, just Caleb and Joshua had a vision that they should go forward, forward there. For Ben Israel to turn around and go back to the wilderness, wow. God was angry. At this point, he was angry. They did not trust in him. We tend to project our feelings when we see bad reports. We tend to see the circumstances that we see in that moment 
and they and we base days in that moment when, when we don't like something or we don't like somebody or we imagine they don't like us. We project to people, our feelings to people. We bring bad reports to our own minds. Many times forgetting that God is the one that we need to reflect our, our actions. We see the circumstances and we see that it's not good. The first thing we do, we have a bad actions about it. We forget to reflect that he's the one give us the strength to move forward every day. In Isaiah 1, um, Actually, that's the, the prophet for this part, Arasha, but I only took one verse. Say in not, Isaiah 1, 1920, if you are willing to obey, you will the, the good of the land. The people of Israel, when, try so much until they get there. Hashem delivered them from slavery. They saw over and over his hand and the miracles and the wonderful and wonders and all that they got is a blind for a bad report and forget all the things that went through through all this time the 40 years that they were um, wandering in the desert all the things that they saw the hand of god was there with them they got blind one minute we forget we forget everything a lot of time happened to us, unfortunately. We have a history with Hashem. He comes, He delivers. He helps us in so many circumstances. When we got a bad report, we get scared, we froze, we get blind, and we forget what He did to us unto our entire lives. We need to trust in Him and accept as Hashem overwhelming loving and learn to rest in His love. And Psalm 112, 5 to 7, good things come to a man who is gracious and lands. He ordered his affair with fairness. Number six, surely he will never be shaken. The righteous are remember forever. Number seven, he is not afraid of bad news. His heart is steadfast, trusting Adonai. When we see a bad report from a doctor, when we see a bad report for our jobs, when we see for our personal lives, for our family, what do we do? We forget the blessing. And we forget that he's in control. We forget to remember that he's the one delivering us. It's not our power, but it's him. And we we get blind. Just that Ben Israel went through, they got a bad report and they got blind. Um, in Psalm 37, a Hebrew verb for delight is a command which should charge us to find enjoyment in God. When we hear a bad report, we need to find encouragement in Hashem. Ben Israel took 40 years to get into the promised land that was in front of them. They couldn't make that journey in 11 days. How silly is that? 11 days was in front of them. But God was showing that over and over again, that his love, his compassion, he was the blessings, the wonderful the wonders, just because they quickly forget a bad report. Now I'm asking this, are you bringing a bad report to your neighbor? Are we bringing good reports to our neighbor? Uh, we encourage people to come and partake in Hashem's blessings to help others, to pray for others, to get inspired by the Ruach HaKadosh. 
Are we doing that? Or are we bringing bad reports about churches, about the leaders, about the brother that you don't like, the, the brother that did something very small with you, and you go and bring bad reports? Are we doing bad reports or good reports? In First Thessalonians 5.11 says, Therefore, encourage one another and build each other for just in an act that you're doing. We should encourage one another. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Bring good reports. Instead of bad reports, Let's bring a good news of Messiah Yeshua, who loves us, and he gave his life for us, so we can be here today. Let's be a light, an example to others. And so many times, how many people leave from synagogues, from church, from the walk with God, just because of bad report? We need to be a light. We need to be the ones that bring the good reports to other people. Let's be the light. Let's not be the ones, the 10, look, 12 people, 12 people to inspire. 10 came back with the bad reports. How is your faith to bring bad reports or good reports? Are you seeing things in your life right now as God working through you in a good way, or you see in your, in your life right now that it's just bad reports and you forget to know that he's in control. He's the one is going to bring to a promised land. He's going to bring us for the blessings. And so many times we have to go back. You know what you got did? Go back to the weirdness. You guys don't belong here. And they had to go back and battle other nations. And God, in the beginning, he was angry that he said, I'm, I'm, you guys go, and I, I don't know what to do with these people anymore. He was angry, but he did what he has to do for, to open the people's eyes and to open our eyes until this day. In Luke 18, say, the Ruah Adonai is on me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent, sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recover of sign of the blind, to set the press. Yeshua came to bring good news. And we are his example. We follow his footsteps. Are we bringing good news to other people? Yeshua HaMashiach came to proclaim the good news so we can have eternal life. And we have this connection with God. We have this uh, moment that when we see a bad report, we are steadfast. Fast in our promises, promises that has good things for us. Just say like Psalm, the man that follows Hashem's heart is steadfast even through your bad reports that you, leave, you hear from your lives. Are you having bad reports? How are you acting now? Are you knowing that God has the hand on you? to take care and to deliver and to give the promised land? Or are you scary and go back to a wilderness and go over again that he has to work on you? We need to be ready to receive that. And when we are ready to receive our promised land, our blessings, just like Ben Israel was about to, we take it. And we can't forget that the moments that comes to our lives, that is hard. It's hard. It's not easy to a doctor come and give you a bad report. A job come to you and get a report. But we don't look 
the circumstances of this moment and we look at that he has the best for you. He's the one who's in control of your life. And we stay fast in knowing he's working with you on your life. So this is my message today. When Mahara, it was so funny, when she started praying for the service, that was the first thing she said. And I felt the connection. She said, we're here for the good news. We're here for the good news. And when she said that, I was laughing because that was my message this morning. Are we here for the good news? Are we here to bring others good reports? Are we here for good reports? Let be the brother, the sister that is going to help others, to bring good reports, to pray for others, to get inspired by the Ruach HaKadosh and, and help others. In, the, in reality, we are here to serve you one another. You guys know that. And to bring bad reports to other people can affect a lot in other people's life, especially if they starting walking faith. So you really have to be very careful as we carry the Torah in our hearts. Are we carrying the good news of the Messiah? We need to know. We need to have good reports. And be careful what to going to say to your brother. We have to think twice. As Ben Israel got scary, frustrated, discouraged, because the land, God prepared the land for them. It was amazing. And because they got so scary, they had to go back to the wilderness. Are we ready to take the promised land or we have to go back to the wilderness? <laughs> we have to be ready. Our hearts, Yeshua, Hamashiach, he teaches, let's bring the good news. And his hope, love, forgiveness, all these good things that God has restored for us because of his son, Yeshua HaMashiach. So I want to take you, are you guys taking this message? Let's be the one, give good reports. Are we going to be the nation, the generation, the brother, the sister, the leader? Are we going to bring the good news, good reports, and inspire the people to do the same? Because his love, and never forget that God's overwhelming love for us is always there. He never changed to all this generation. So are we ready for bringing good reports? So, and let's be ready to take our promised land. Our promised land is the blessings that God has restored for us. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom.